In an audacious proclamation, scientists have revealed the discovery of a completely new planet, unlike any previously recognized. NASA, renowned for its groundbreaking investigations, has confirmed that this recently uncovered planet is fascinating not only because of its magnitude and location, but also because it radiates light that seems to be man-made. Could this revolutionary finding signal that we are on the verge of unraveling mysteries that could dramatically transform our understanding of the universe? Does this disclosure imply the possibility of life inhabiting planets beyond Earth? As we explore NASA's extraordinary revelations, we may soon uncover the reality behind these remarkable lights. In 2007, NASA dispatched the Dawn spacecraft with the goal of studying some of the most compelling objects in our solar system. Equipped with three ion engines, Dawn set off on a journey that began with a 14-month exploration of Vesta, the second largest asteroid in the belt. Dawn relayed back intricate images and data, revealing Vesta's complicated surface and rich geological background. After finishing its mission at Vesta, Dawn moved on to what was possibly the most thrilling part of its journey, a detailed investigation of the dwarf planet series. Thanks to its ion engines, Dawn was able to depart from Vesta's orbit and head toward Ceres, a task that traditional chemical propulsion methods could not have managed. These engines offered a consistent thrust, enabling Dawn to traverse vast distances and achieve a stable orbit around Ceres. Discovered in 1801 by the Italian astronomer J.P. Piazzi, Ceres is the largest object within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. For many years, it was considered the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system until its reclassification in 2006. With a diameter of around 950 kilometers, Ceres is the largest and most massive body in the asteroid belt, making it one of the most fascinating objects due to its unique features. Researchers eagerly anticipated the first detailed images of this enigmatic world, which uncovered bright spots scattered across its surface, particularly inside a large crater called a cater. These glowing spots immediately sparked significant curiosity among the scientific community. Before the Dawn mission, the best images we had of Ceres were hazy, low-resolution pictures captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. Very little was understood about this dwarf planet, and the chance to obtain high-resolution images promised exciting new insights. The Dawn mission aimed to deepen our understanding of the solar system's origins and the role water played in the formation of planetary bodies. The luminous spots on Ceres, which were also spotted on other asteroids, were thought to be made up of highly reflective substances, possibly salts left behind by evaporated water. This discovery hinted at the potential for cryovolcanism on Ceres, an event in which volcanoes eject not molten rock but liquid water or brine. What exactly these mysterious lights are, and what they reveal about Ceres remains an open question. Could they be proof of ongoing geological processes? or could they represent something even more extraordinary? Ceres stands apart from other objects in the asteroid belt due to its scale, mass, composition, and potential for containing water and ice. Unlike typical rocky asteroids, Ceres has a composition more similar to that of a comet, indicating it may hold important clues about the early solar system. After two years of travel, the Dawn spacecraft finally began its approach to Ceres in early 2015 marking a pivotal milestone in its mission as it prepared to send back the first detailed images of the largest object in the asteroid belt. The spacecraft drew nearer to Ceres, revealing a world that had been hidden from view. The initial photographs of Ceres displayed a surface dotted with craters, signaling a long history of impacts. However, it was the bright spots within the dark, rocky landscape that captured the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts. As the resolution of the images improved, researchers developed several hypotheses about these spots. Could they be areas of ice reflecting sunlight, or could they signify something even more extraordinary? Speculation ranged from mineral deposits to possible signs of cryovolcanic activity. To everyone's surprise, closer examination revealed that the brightest spot was not a singular feature, but a collection of multiple distinct spots. The most widely supported explanation was that these spots were deposits of salt left behind by the evaporation of water. This suggested that Ceres may have, or still has, some form of geological activity capable of pushing water or brine to the surface, where it rapidly evaporates, 
leaving behind bright, reflective residues. These findings challenged prior assumptions about Ceres, offering a fresh perspective on a dynamic and complex world. The potential that groundwater or brine pockets exist below the surface raises exciting questions about the potential for life elsewhere in our solar system. Ceres is frequently described as an icy world with a rocky yet porous surface. Unlike most asteroids, which are primarily composed of rock and metal, Ceres stands out for its distinct composition. Its surface is a blend of water ice and hydrated minerals, such as clays and carbonates, giving it a less dense structure than its rocky neighbors. This composition indicates that Ceres holds a substantial amount of water. Its rocky surface is permeable, with ice and other volatile substances trapped inside. More like a comet than a typical asteroid, scientists believe that Ceres has a distinct interior made up of a muddy mantle and a core rich in water ice, which makes up about 50% of its total volume. The mantle is thought to be a mix of rock and brine, encasing a core potentially composed of denser materials like silicates. The presence of substantial water ice suggests that Ceres may have hosted liquid water in the past, especially if its core was heated by radioactive decay in the early stages of its history. This internal structure sets Ceres apart from other asteroids and presents intriguing questions about its potential for geological activity and the role of water in its development. Furthermore, the discovery of ammonia clays on Ceres suggests the possibility that the dwarf planet may have initially formed in a colder region of the solar system before migrating inward. The presence of ammonia could lower the freezing point of water, supporting the existence of surface brines. These discoveries about Ceres's composition and history not only expand our understanding of this fascinating dwarf planet, but also offer valuable insights into the processes governing the formation and evolution of icy bodies throughout the solar system. Cryovolcanism is an intriguing and somewhat rare geological process, especially when compared to the more familiar volcanic activities on Earth. Unlike traditional volcanoes that expel molten rock, cryovolcanoes are often referred to as ice volcanoes, as they release materials such as water, ammonia, or methane. These substances can exist as liquids or gases in extremely frigid environments like those found on Ceres. Cryovolcanoes on Ceres function by allowing salty water to rise to the surface. When the briny water contacts the vacuum of space, it rapidly sublimes, transitioning directly from a solid or liquid state into gas. This process leaves behind shimmering, reflective salt deposits, which form the luminous spots observed on Ceres' surface. The most famous of these spots is located in a crater named Decatur, particularly in an area known as Spot 5. This region has garnered significant attention due to its high reflectivity and periodic variations noted by the Dawn spacecraft. These fluctuations are believed to be caused by the sublimation of water, indicating that cryovolcanic activity might still be taking place or may have occurred recently on Ceres. In addition to Spot 5, Ceres hosts several other bright spots, each with unique features. These spots are not confined to a single location but are scattered across the dwarf planet's surface suggesting that cryovolcanism may be a widespread phenomenon on Ceres. The existence of these luminous spots emphasizes the dynamic and active nature of Ceres, challenging earlier assumptions that it was a geologically inactive world. As the Dawn spacecraft continued to capture more detailed images, a wide variety of surface features became visible. Ceres's surface is marked with numerous craters, each telling the story of this dwarf planet's history. As the Dawn spacecraft continued its observations of Ceres, the scientific community remained fascinated by the planet's secrets. Each new discovery raised further questions about Ceres' past and its potential for hosting conditions that could support life. The presence of bright spots and signs of cryovolcanism painted a picture of an active world far more dynamic than originally anticipated. This discovery suggested that Ceres might not only be a remnant of the early solar system, but also a world where ongoing geological processes, such as the eruption of ice and brine, continue to shape its surface. The fact that Ceres could maintain such activity despite its small size challenges conventional thinking about celestial bodies in the asteroid belt. Traditional beliefs held that small bodies, especially those situated in colder regions, were likely geologically inactive and frozen in time. However, Ceres's ongoing activity suggests that even in the distant reaches of the solar system, 
the right combination of heat, water, and salts might be enough to fuel cryovolcanic eruptions. Another significant aspect of Ceres is its potential to reveal important insights into the history of water in the solar system. Water is a vital component for life as we know it, and discovering that it may exist in liquid or brine form on Ceres opens up new possibilities for the existence of life in environments far from the sun's warmth. The idea that water ice and liquid water may have once existed on Ceres suggests that other similar bodies in the solar system, such as Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's Enceladus, may also harbor conditions conducive to life, making them prime targets for future exploration. The possibility of cryovolcanism on Ceres also raises deeper questions about the forces that drive such processes. How does the water beneath Ceres' icy crust remain in a liquid state despite the freezing temperatures of space? Could an internal heat source, such as radioactive decay or tidal heating from gravitational interactions, be preventing the water from freezing? Understanding the nature of these heat sources could shed light on the geological evolution of similar icy bodies in the solar system. Every crater on Ceres, each unique in its formation, provides valuable information about the forces that have shaped not only Ceres, but also many similar bodies in the solar system. Whether caused by asteroid collisions or other cosmic events, these impacts contribute to Ceres' singular features and its role in the broader story of the solar system's development. The discovery of ammonia clays on Ceres offers another intriguing piece of the puzzle. Ammonia is known to lower the freezing point of water, which could have allowed liquid water to exist on the surface in the past or even today. This finding implies that Ceres may have formed in the colder outer regions of the solar system before migrating inward toward its current position. This migration could explain many of the unusual features observed on Ceres' surface, including the presence of ammonia and signs of cryovolcanism. As scientists continue to investigate Ceres' surface and interior, their findings are changing our understanding of planetary formation, the potential for life beyond Earth, and the processes that drive geological activity in the outer solar system. Once seen merely as a small, cold asteroid in the belt, Ceres has emerged as a captivating world that defies expectations and compels us to reconsider what is possible on distant worlds. The Dawn spacecraft, with its years of careful observation, has played a crucial role in unveiling these new details about Ceres. The mission, which has provided the most comprehensive images and data of this faraway dwarf planet, continues to be a cornerstone in our exploration of the solar system. Each new image sent back from the spacecraft reveals more of Ceres' secrets, showcasing a complex and ever-evolving world that was once largely unexplored. These discoveries are just the beginning of what promises to be an ongoing investigation into the mysteries of the outer solar system. As new missions are launched and technology progresses, even more surprising revelations are likely to emerge. Will we find more evidence of cryovolcanism or uncover further signs of water beneath Ceres' surface? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The story of Ceres is far from finished. As NASA's mission to explore Ceres advances, the scientific community remains captivated by the array of discoveries being made. One of the most intriguing aspects of this dwarf planet is its complex interior, which could provide insights into how similar bodies formed throughout the solar system. Researchers are particularly eager to study Ceres' unique geological features, which suggest it may still be evolving, even after billions of years. A key factor in this ongoing evolution is the presence of water in its various forms, which plays an essential role in shaping the surface. The discovery of briny ice and the evidence of cryovolcanism offer exciting possibilities about Ceres' geology. Scientists are investigating how this ice might move beneath the surface, potentially leading to shifts that form new surface features. Moreover, understanding the role of salts in these processes could help us understand how planets and moons in the outer solar system behave over time. The study of Ceres also opens doors to understanding the broader mechanisms that shape icy bodies in our solar system. Unlike rocky planets, these icy worlds can have drastically different characteristics. By examining how Ceres' surface has been shaped by geological activity, scientists can learn more about how other moons and dwarf planets in similar environments may have evolved.